What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel, Tuna for the Win here, and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of the Power DY's Lavalier Mic. Picked it up on Amazon, I, there's, a, there's like over a thousand reviews on this mic. And so far I've been just using the mic that's on my Panasonic G6, and it's not that great. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So I got it for a great price. I think I got it for $16.99. Normally it's like $22. So inside we have this little pouch, which has a lavalier mic inside it. Inside we have this screen cleaner. You get this warranty card. Thank you for choosing us. You get some uh, examples, directions. It's pretty simple stuff though. And that's it. Nothing else. So let's check out. Let's check out the lavalier mic. So here it is, and it comes with a 79 inch extension. So that's that's pretty good if you if you want to be standing, if you want to be able to stand up and record yourself on uh, your camera. So here we go. We have the mic right here. We got the extension. It comes with an adapter and two covers for the mic. So now that we have it out, let's go ahead and test it. So we're going from this to this and this is a sound with the lavalier mic what do you guys think does it sound a lot better or does it sound worse because I was actually having issues with this mic um, that's why you see a change of clothes because it's another day this is what you guys are getting with a power DY's lavalier mic I'm hoping my audio is sounding pretty good I actually don't know what I fixed <laughs> I don't know what I fixed, but it, uh, I'm hoping it's sounding better. But it sounded muffled. It sounded like I fell down a well. I, I have no idea. But um, I raised the volumes on my uh, my camera, and I heard some people say you could leave it at a one. But for me, that just doesn't work out. So I have my volume on my camera to max, and um, this is this is the sound you're getting. So from stereo to now uh, mono lavalier mic. So let's go ahead and do some testing. This is it. This is it about four inches three inches from my mouth and Then here over here. We got it close to the lens, which is about three feet Two and a half feet. So if you guys are gonna pick up this lavalier mic power device lavalier mic I would recommend getting an extension. I'm pretty sure it comes with a 79 inch um, <clears throat> Extension, but some of these lavalier mics don't and 59 inches to me just doesn't cut it if you're going to be vlogging and, and selfie distance, then you should be fine. But right now, the cord is dangling. It won't touch the ground. And I'm about two and a half feet from the camera. Okay, so the sound you're hearing right now, it does not have the wind muff right here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add the wind muff on. And even though we're inside a room, just to see how much of the audio quality it affects. So let's go ahead and try that on right now. And this is with the wind muff installed. What do you guys think of the sound? Does it sound a little bit lighter, a little bit softer, or does it pretty much sound the same? So that's my review and unboxing of the Power DY's Lavalier mic. Would I pick it up again? Yes, I would. I don't know what issues I was having with uh, my mic, but I got it to work, so that's what counts. So if you guys would like to pick up your very own up Power DY's Lavalier mic, I'll make sure to leave it down in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to comment. We'd love to hear you guys' comments. Maybe you guys want me to do an unboxing review of something else? Leave it in the comment section. Thumbs up the video and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and until next time. Uh -huh.